viewers. Uh, I salute this uh, gentleman. I respect this gentleman, former retired group captain Mohanto Panging Pao, uh, who was specialist in uh, pilot of Sukhoi Tati. Uh, in his uh, tenure, he fly uh, 3,200 hours in service. And now he is in the public, uh, and he is engaged in social worker also. And he is uh, now he is a very successful entrepreneur also. Uh, today I want to ask him regarding this uh, ALJ Pasigat uh, uh, lending crown. Uh, now uh, I think uh, MIG 29 is uh, exercise here. Regarding this thing, I want to know from him. Okay, sir, what is uh, strategically in emergency time? Uh, how this uh, ALG is uh, good and uh, in the emergency time, how it is a risk for the public? So, thank you so much. Uh, to the viewers of Pasigad and nearby areas, uh, you must have recently seen a lot of air activity yeah. and a lot of fighter flying going on in Pasigad and uh, the skies are filled with a lot of sound and noise and beautiful sight of the plane flying. These are all uh, part of a exercise, air exercise being carried out. Yeah. Uh, in the east and as you all know that uh, we have a very uh, strong enemy to our north and the Indian Air Force or Indian Armed Forces has to always be prepared to meet any contingency. Any steps taken by the enemy we have to be always ready to take up. So these exercises are carried out, carried out regularly in between and so in Pasigat ALG we have presently MiG-29s here. They are operating for the last few days. Uh, as part of this bigger exercise okay. and uh, okay. this big 29 plane I have myself flown in this plane okay. and uh, before I flew Sukhois so it's a beautiful plane and Pasigat is actually very lucky to yeah. host big 29s here okay. so very powerful aircraft uh, the full form of big is uh, Mikoyan Gurevich okay. and 29 it's a very powerful air defense aircraft okay okay sir the public is very concerned about this uh, sound they are, uh, they, the public is saying the sound is very dis disturbing them. Uh, and the uh, public is saying that this uh, ALD is uh, just located in the heart of the Pasiga town. It is also very risk. public is saying that. Sir, what is your comment? Uh, uh, the right public has got every right to say things that they notice and hear. Uh, ideally, uh, defense establishments or even civil airport should be located away from the town okay. or major cities. Okay. But you see, the rate of urban growth of population, everyone is moving to towns and cities. Like, for example, uh, Palam Airport in Delhi was outside uh, Delhi. But now the town has grown so fast that the, the uh, Palam Airport has now come within the city. Okay. Similarly, is the case with other air, uh, air, airports, like in Pune also it is like this. The, it was built uh, much away from the town. Okay. But somehow the town has grown so rapidly that it has uh, in, uh, engulfed the air, uh, airport into it. So in Pasigat, actually, it is an easier way out of having the same airstrip which was used in 1960s. Okay. The same airstrip has been refurbished to a runway. Okay. And now that is being used. So because their land compensation was not uh, involved, because the air airport land was already acquired. Okay. So comp the project cost was reduced. And okay. that is why maybe the, the that time government decided to set up the ALG. And as a matter of, just for knowledge for everyone, uh, in Pasigat, six ALGs were set up. Okay. And these are all strategic decisions okay. in order to counter our northern neighbor, China. So that's why we required this uh, advanced landing ground so that these fighters operate from this advanced landing ground. So what happens if you go closer to the border, then you can take off with, uh, reach the deeper into the enemy, and you can carry more weapons, okay. more missiles, okay. and reach there. Plus, these air airports also become uh, uh, for movement of uh, equipment, heavy equipment of the army that is required. So it is easier because distance involved is less. For example, if you say come from uh, air, air, airfield south of the Brahmaputra, for okay. example, like uh, Chabua, Mohanbari, or Jorhat. Okay. So if the bridges at Bogibili is taken out, okay. which will be the case in case of a war, okay, okay. then you will find it difficult to move okay. uh, from the southern bank to the northern bank. Okay. Then they would like to use this uh, Pasigat LG or uh, zero or uh, zero ALG or uh, Teju uh, airport and then move forward from there. Okay. So it will uh, take lesser time to deploy okay. heavy equipment like artillery guns and uh, tanks and armored vehicles to the border area. Okay. So it will take lesser time to mobilize. Okay. So it is a national strategic decision to set up these ALGs. 
So I think the ALG was set up at the place as it is now is because it was existing from earlier, yeah. the airport. Yeah. But uh, land compensation is a major issue here. Ideally, as I told you earlier, uh, the air airport or the defense airfield should go away from the town. Okay. And that is what is the norm in many uh, major cities also. Okay, sir, it is fact that uh, you are a retired group captain. You still, your mentality, mentality is in the pilot, isn't so? But uh, nowadays, you are involved in society. Now, you are a very successful entrepreneur. Even though, sir, what do you say, uh, setting, up, uh, setting up of this ALG in Pasigar town is, uh, uh, as, per your, as per your idea, it is good or uh, uh, bad? Yeah, you said it is a compromise. Okay. Uh, for national requirements, strategic requirements, and national defense requirements, you require these ALGs and okay. airports to come. Plus, even for domestic tourism, and for uh, uh, passengers to travel from one place to another for medical reasons. As you are all aware that we are a state uh, affected by Assambans. Okay. So be because Assamban we are unable to travel, they impose economic blockade. Okay. So now with the airport within us, we can fly okay. easily and bypass these okay. Assambans and okay. uh, tackle these Assambans. Okay. And similarly with airports being here, we can fly directly to Calcutta, to Guwahati, to Delhi for uh, either for studies or for business okay. or for the tourism okay. or for uh, medical requirements and similarly many of the tourists can come here yeah, yeah. because we have an airport okay. so it's a compromise and okay. obviously if in the airport planes come a aircraft come the airplanes are very heavy okay. and their engines are very heavy so obviously there will be a lot of noise okay. so whenever planes come and operate there will okay. be noise okay. but it is like you know a jcb also makes noise <laughs> and a bulldozer also makes noise. When okay. you construct a road also, you make noise. Okay. So, but the noise is not throughout the day because okay. Pasigat is not so much a busy air, okay. uh, airport. You can realize there are only two flights per day, I think, or uh, three flights per uh, day. Uh, and uh, they take off in one minute uh, and two minutes. So your noise pollution, it is there, noise uh, pollution. It is there for maybe five, ten minutes in one day. Okay. So we have to learn to uh, take it. It's a compromise between... Uh, d d strategic and national requirements. Okay. Okay. And okay. I'm sure citizens of Pasigat and nearby areas want an airport in Pasigat okay. because okay. it allows us to fly okay. directly to any place uh, and save time. Okay, okay sir, so, uh, what do you say? During your uh, service time, during your pilot time, you have uh, flown many types of these flights. And, uh, now this uh, uh, MiG-29 is uh, access here. And, uh, and you ret retire from this, uh, uh, this uh, Sukhoi Tati. The as per your uh, this experience, which one is the best one? Oh, uh, as per me, presently, I'm a Sukhoi pilot. Yeah. So Sukhoi 30 MKI was a very good plane. Okay. And it used to fly better than a bird. Okay. Uh, it used to be the bird in the air. And general flying-wise, I don't think anyone can beat. Okay. But the MiG-29 is also a very powerful and beautiful plane. Okay. Sir. So it is one of the very maneuverable planes and a lot of power. Okay. Actually, uh, it is said in the Air Force that you run out of power once uh, in the in the MiG-29. So, okay. and like I told you earlier, this MiG-29, I have flown myself okay. uh, before I flew the Sukhoi. And in the very squadron that is deployed here presently. Okay. So, it brings me fond memories. Okay. In fact, National Defense Academy fly pass I have done on MiG-29 okay. before we uh, flew the Sukhoi. Okay. So, uh, I have one point to point out here. And since the uh, civil flights also operate from Pasigat uh, Airport, so, in bad weather conditions, okay. and whenever it is uh, raining, yeah, uh, there are clouds or there are um, bad visibility, then the flights get cancelled because of the lack of equipment called okay. uh, instrument landing system, ILS. So, I have written few articles on this also. If ILS is installed here, then even in bad weather, planes will come here. So, if planes don't come here, the passengers will not have trust because they will miss the uh, further flights, connecting okay. flights. Okay. So they cancel the flight from here and book it from Dibrugar. Okay. Okay. So if Pasigat is to be used by the citizens of Pasigat and nearby areas, then ILS should come in here. Okay. And for ILS to come in, instrument landing system to come in, for that we require uh, encroachment free airport. Okay. 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 Both sides of the runway require 1000 feet strip okay. clearance. Okay. Okay. And that can not be uh, in the present location you uh, difficult to achieve it. Okay. So maybe you have to move the airport somewhere else okay. where you can get this type of clearance. Okay. And one more thing I will point out, there is an alternative also okay. to ILS, to instrument landing system. The alternative is called RNP. Okay. It is a procedure uh, using the GPS okay. and the satellite navigation system and which is used in other airports also. So I have written again an article on this. Yeah. If RNP is cleared, 
then even in wet visibility uh -huh. say for example your visibility has dropped below 5 kilometers okay or the light bit of drizzle is there then also your civil flights will not get cancelled okay. so actually the leadership the state leadership and the district administration to take a call on this okay. either you configure it with a instrument lending system okay. to make pasigat equal to halongi okay. or pasigat equal to dibrugar or pasigat equal to guwahati or else you have to take up a special clearance to use a procedure called rnp I have written few articles also on this. Then okay. what will happen? Flights will not get cancelled from Pasigar. Okay. And then people will book regularly. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, sir. Uh, nowadays you are in the it is in the our uh, social organization, and uh, you are having one this uh, blood donation or uh, NGO also. Nowadays you are giving a lot of this uh, training awareness to youth. Sir, in this like, what do you, what do you say? See, uh, everyone knows that youth is the future of the nation. Exactly. So if the youth are strong, resilient, sturdy, then the nation will also be strong. And Arunachal as a state will also be strong. So youth have a very important role to play. So I was in the Air Force as a fighter pilot. Okay. Presently in the Indian Air Force, there are no fighter pilots from Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. And very less people are there in Indian Defense Forces, okay. in the Indian Army, Indian Navy. So I urge the local youth okay. that you should join. Uh, it is a very uh, exciting career and okay. it's a very adventurous career. And you will have get a chance to serve the motherland. You will get a chance to roam around the entire corners of the country. Even abroad, in various places, you will get a chance to roam around. Okay. So I urge the youth to join more and more in the defense forces. Oh. So that is my urge to the youth because uh, you will get a chance to uh, you know, uh, fly an exciting plane like the Sukhoi 30 MK or become an astronaut or become a submariner or become an army special forces commando like that. Sir, during your pilot time, we always call you as a king of sky. Uh, sir, if you are giving uh, permission to fly this Sukhoi uh, 30, then uh, now you are capable to fly it or not? Oh, of course. Because uh, we brought Sukhois from Russia. We are yes. the first lot. And uh, all the, the new boys have been taught by us only. And now considering the Israel-Hamas war, okay. I sometimes want to go and fly for Israel, you know, and fly their plane. Okay. Because basically I am also a fighter pilot. Exactly. But I don't know whether the government will allow or not. Exactly. But that is definite that if India fights a war exactly. against, let's say, our enemies in the north and in the west, exactly. then I will definitely volunteer to go back and fly. Exactly. And uh, uh, whether they take me or not, that is a problem of theirs. Exactly. But I will volunteer till the time I am uh, capable of getting into the cockpit and flying. Why not? Because uh, uh, like the Israelis now in the Hamas war, many reservists have joined it. Okay. And around three lakh reservists have called up. A uh, similar uh, should be the condition in India. Also. And we are well trained. We brought the Sukhoi initially. Adjil. And in few sorties, we'll get used to it again. Okay. Okay, sir, uh, during your this uh, entire 30 years of uh, service, you must uh, have some accident also. Ajax system also, sir. Please tell about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I have had many uh, incidents and accidents. Uh, in fact, uh, twice my plane uh, malfunctioned and I came down by parachute. Okay. So it is uh, called ejection in the Indian Air Force. And we also call it a happy birthday, new birthday. Okay. So first time it was in 1990. So and it is near uh, Kolaghat in Calcutta, near Kharagpur. Okay. So where my plane, my engine malfunctioned and then I had to finally come down by parachute. Okay. So that was in 1990 and a lot of stories behind yes. what happened after I landed on the ground. So that was on 31st March 1990. Thereafter around seven years later in 1997, in a Jaguar aircraft, two of us, okay. I was the instructor sitting behind. Okay. So both of us, because of malfunction, we ejected we, and came down by parachute, both together. And over uh, there's a town called Barmer in Rajasthan. Okay. So the, there, a uh, lot of sand dunes are there, okay. deserts are there. Okay. So we uh, came down by parachute and landed on the sand dunes. And uh, there are a lot of uh, black bucks. Okay. They call chinkara there. Okay. We're all below <laughs> on the sand dunes. When they saw our parachutes falling, they just ran from there. <laughs> okay, so I, there is them. there any physical injury? Yeah, there are a lot of injuries. I still carry some of them. Okay. And some of them are mental, some of them are okay. physical. Okay. So like, for example, in my uh, year, there is a... Uh, Scar mark. Okay. This is as a process of my first ejection okay. in 1990. Okay. So just imagine even 33 years later also this mark is there. Okay. And uh, air, whenever you fall through the air, air is not vacuum. Air has got friction, okay. air has got weight. And when you 
fly into air with very high speeds. Okay. You come down, then okay. air burns you actually. Okay. So these car marks we carry. Okay. Some of them are uh, physical, okay. but physically I am still okay. Touch wood. Okay. Uh, so that's why we okay. call it a new birthday. Yeah. But there are things mental also. Okay. So okay. we remember those days and carry back some uh, memories. Okay. okay, sir. Lastly, sir, uh, why these uh, jet planes are permanently not keeping here? So that is uh, a very important question. Uh, a permanent air base, there are many considerations, many factors okay. to decide. And this is something actually, even if you don't have an air base, we should have a permanent air base here okay. or an army base here because okay. along with the base, lot of important uh, things come. For example, a lot of business comes. Okay. When a new air base comes, population comes there, so there will be a lot of uh, supplies and business which will be generated out of air bases. And plus there are side effects, somebody will open a school there. A army school there, a FO school there. So there are a lot of factors okay. in deciding which is a permanent base. Okay, okay. So it, uh, first of all, this, uh, they don't set up these important bases too near the border, mm -hmm. uh, especially air bases. Okay. So there are many considerations, but your point is very right. Uh, like north of the Brahmaputra, yes. like Brahmaputra is a river which is cut, cutting this uh, into northern bank and southern bank. Yeah. And there are only four or five bridges across the Brahmaputra, you are aware. Okay. In, there is in one in Tezpur, one in Bogibil, one in Guwahati, one in this Adiya. Okay. So if the bridges are cut, which will happen in, a, in case of a war, okay. then we should have redundancy north bank of the Brahmaputra. Okay. So we should have more bases, some, at least few bases, okay. northern of the, north of Brahmaputra. Okay. Then only we can focus on defending Arunachal exactly. against any northern threat. Right, exactly. Okay, viewers, this uh, is uh, retired group captain Mohan uh, Pangin Sir. His advice is that this youth look in society is doing a lot of work, blood donation, this youth look in training, this army, this paramilitary, this exercise, this workshop is giving. So, this is what we have to say. We have to say this is a service that we have to say. We have to say this is a pilot. So, we have to say this is a pilot. So, we have to say this is a pilot. So, we have to say this is a pilot.